Happy Halloween, everybody. We are at the last race of the season at White Rose, and we're watching the Frankenstein Youth Vintage Riders Group. How appropriate is that that they call themselves Frankenstein for the Halloween-themed race? Howard and Lisa Grove are the uh, people that are about as nice as you're ever going to find and the most involved you're ever going to find when it comes to organizing and keeping everything straight, keeping the kids on the right track. No pun intended. They just do a wonderful job and a huge thank you goes out to them and anybody else that is out there helping them. Right now, on the track, we got Charlie Walker, Taylor Riley, and PJ. And I apologize for not knowing your last name. I know you're a grandson of... Uh, Marty and them, I think, and uh, job, it's great to see you out there. You can see the competition is stiff. They're getting after it. As they got the throttles just twisted to the right as hard as they can, and they are trying every line they can out there to get things going. We've got a good show for you today. It's going to be... A story about how the kids get attacked a little bit later on for you. And we got small kids doing the motocross. This is the first moto section of it that you'll see. We got the big kids right now. And we'll have the cross country big kids and the uh, cross country little kids. And we got some... Uh, GoPro footage from Taylor that strapped my uh, GoPro on and if any of you kids out there Want to strap that thing on and uh, get me a little video footage you stop over next year and uh, We'll see if we can get you some footage as well. I Know a lot of y'all like doing that. So um, it makes for some interesting uh, points of view if you see exactly what your kids are out there doing I got a uh, chest mount that just straps on right in front of your uh, chest protector and gets me some good footage and we're gonna have a lot of pictures from Lorena the ones I took off of Facebook on different pl places myself included and uh, there's a nice slideshow at the end with some spooky music so After the races, I'm going to tell you this little story about how these kids got attacked. It was, it, it was, it was scary. We're sitting there. It's after they've had their trick or tr trick or treat, and our campsite is such that we could see the side of the hill and we could see little flashlights over there moving around on different things. Hear the kids giggling and laughing and stuff over there and talking and. We hear, there goes a deer! Oh my god! And we heard about this story from several different people, and they said that there was two deer that were bedded down, and they spooked them. And depends on which kid you talk to, it, it was anywhere from two inches from their nose that ran by to two feet. So, just depends on how you want to look at it. Alright, this is Sunday morning. Everybody's dressed up in their outfits. Pretty cool looking. They're getting ready to take off. And this course was about a mile long or more. And uh, I tried to get on my KTM and get out there and get some footage. It was tough, folks. I had to kind of regroup, come back a little closer to the uh, start-finish line and wait for them to come back around because uh, it was hard to get out there and, and get some different kind of footage. But I, I did as best I could. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. And, uh... They're all out there riding their costumes and stuff. Pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. I want to throw a big congratulations out to Chloe Sawyer for winning the, the giveaway bike at the end of the year. If you rode in the cross-country events, three of them, you got yourself an entry into the uh, free bike giveaway at the end of the year. And... I think every race after that you got a entry in as well. So the more races you raced on the cross country in the kids division, the more chances you had to win that bike. 
and they had it at, at the end on Sunday, uh, and Chloe won it. Big smile on her. I'm sure you'll be able to see on one of them pictures. She's straddling the bike with the uh, the plaque and stuff in the front, and just a huge congratulations. I couldn't have went to a a better spokesperson for the uh, the event. She's gonna graduate up into the uh, the new junior class. He's already making waves out there, finding new friends and new competitors to compete against, and she's doing great. A lot of these kids are gonna graduate up into something like that. It's just fun to watch them growing and uh, every year coming back being a little bit faster. This was a little bit more technical section right here. Uh, it made for some. Good job. These kids had to like get out. You know, get get their balance just right and, and slide across and get things done. There's old Silas. All right, I strapped this on Taylor. Let's see how she does. One of the most focused riders you're ever going to see is who you're riding with right now. Unfortunately, that first turn, her and PJ bumped. PJ went down, and I don't even think she real realized it because it, I don't. I didn't even see it on the GoPro. I was watching it. There's the llama, but she's got her mind focused on this young man up in front of her, and she is gonna try everything in her power to get around him. And she's got this little bike just screaming. Can't make that thing go any faster as far as she's concerned it gets a little bit confusing to me where to go everybody's pointing everybody in the right direction but when you're watching the footage you're like yeah I might get a little lost out there maybe <laughs> but uh, I left a lot of the footage in here uh, I didn't cut a whole lot out because I know Taylor will love to watch it whenever she's at home so I hope y'all enjoy it I'm gonna step back away from the mic and uh hope to see y'all there in january when we have the banquet and come over and say hi and it's been a pleasure to do these videos for you guys and i just want to say thank you for everybody that's out there that really enjoys these things because i enjoy doing them especially the kids when i try to get it out there as soon as possible because a lot of the kids want to see them and I try to get as many kids as I can involved uh, in the videos. I try not to let anybody out. And if I do, it's definitely not on purpose. So until next year, we will uh, talk to you a little bit later on. And definitely be back out here next year doing the same thing. I'll be working on the uh, adult videos, which are the footage looks amazing. Hopefully you enjoy it. And... Uh, Stick around for the slideshow. I got a lot of pictures that people sent. And you're going to see a lot of memories that were made. Talk to you all later. Have a good one. Happy Halloween.